Uh, today I'm going to be doing, again, a very different video on uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, I am going to be showing you what deck I made for the, uh, for the uh, tournament, the sealed deck, the sealed deck tournament. Um, I'm just putting, you know, the piles down. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to be showing you what deck, what kind of deck I made. I think I made a pretty good deck. Uh, I got a lot of good cards, so I did do three different colors. And I did have to get a new pack, so uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately I didn't get as many good cards as I was hoping for, but I did get some pretty good cards. Uh, this is just going to be you know, a background, just because I'm not going to be using this whole table. Anyways, uh, I got these sleeves in preparation for the event. And I really like these, actually. They're nice and smooth. I like the back of them. It looks good. So, I would actually consider buying more, more of these. Uh, it comes in 80 per pack. 10 bucks. <clears throat> Not the best deal, but uh, it looks pretty cool. I, I do like this. I, my favorite colors, by the way, is probably white. But it's slowly becoming green and red. Blue, not so much. Black's pretty good, but I'd rather go with basic, like red. Uh, first up, I put Shock into my deck. Deals two damage to any target. So, Planeswalker, creature, player. Only for one mana. That's not too bad. Now, sealed decks are 40. Obviously, if you're watching this, you probably know that. So, I took five each uh, of each land. Uh, there's green, red, and white in this. My three favorite colors. Um, enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each forest you control. That's really good, especially if you have a green deck. Uh, for only three mana, that's not too bad. I love these kinds of cards where you gain control of a target creature until the end of the turn. They gain haste, and they can attack. So you can, you know, use this against... Uh, the person you're playing against. And for three mana, that's not that's pretty good. Uh, next up, Titanic Growth. We've seen this before in my uh, review of the uh, core set pre-release pre deck pack, whatever. This uh, It's basically the same thing, but uh, Creature gets plus four, plus four, plus four for two mana. Um, I wouldn't mind if it was three mana and if you put Trample on this, because that would make this card a hell of a lot better. Uh, Rabbit Bite, everyone was buzzing about this at my game store. Uh, so basically, this you put this on you put this on the battlefield, a creature fights another creature. Um, so yeah, I, I like this. This was pretty good. I didn't, I don't remember using it, but anyways, uh, we seen. I just showed you this. This one's a really good card. I'm, I'm planning on putting this into my white deck. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. I might actually put this in my black and white deck, or maybe, uh, I'm not going to put it in my red and white, but black and white or just white. I'm not sure yet, but this is a really good card. For one mana, that's awesome. Luminous Bond. Everyone was talking about this, too. Uh, this is a pretty, I mean, we've seen this card before, other than in the core set, uh, but... Yeah, I, 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 this card's helped me a lot uh, over the past few months of playing Magic. Uh, this is a pretty good card. You just have to have a lot of mana in your uh, mana pool. Uh, uh, Luminous Bonds, by the way. Uh, uh, put it on a creature and they can't attack or block. It was uh, Ban Banefire is... Banefire deals X damage to any opponent in... You pay X damage with the mana, so if X dam if X is five or more, the spell can't be countered, and the damage cannot be prevented. So that's a really good card. Just kind of want to have a lot of mana. Love this card, uh, Cleansing Nova. Uh, choose for five mana. Choose one. Destroy all creatures or destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, but the thing is, it applies to you as well. So if your opponent does what I call the wipeout, where they wipe out all your creatures because they have just as many, um, this is a good card to use. And Fumigate. I like Fumigate better because you gain more 
you gain life for each creature you destroy, but whatever, that's neither here nor there. Uh, we've seen, we've, I think we've seen every single one of these cards, but we'll go through them anyways, just in case you didn't see my last video. Uh, Vine, Vaishno Wizard, Vaishno Pyromancer, I don't know. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it deals 2 damage to target player or planeswalker. So that's really good. Uh, 2 mana, 2-1, two not too bad. We got a 3-3 Flyer for 5 mana. When the uh, Angel of the Dawn enters the battlefield, creatures you control gain plus 1, or get plus 1, plus 1, and Vigilance until the end of the turn. I really like this card. It's pretty good. I wish it was a little cheaper, but otherwise, still pretty good. Uh, this card's good as well, uh, fly, especially if you're going against a black deck. Um, uh, Remorseful Cleric, uh, a 2-1 flyer uh, for 2 mana, not too bad. And then if you sacrifice this creature, uh, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. So uh, that's actually really good. Uh, when, and then a 2 mana for 2-1, uh, for a 2-1 creature, a uh, human knight, cavalry, cavalry, drill master, when he enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus 2, and gains first strike until the end of the turn. So that's really good if you have, uh, like a, a creature with death, tu death touch, which there is one in here. Uh, next up is a spider, uh, has reach, 4 mana for 2-4. Pretty good, and I didn't use this, so uh, I put this guy down, and the person I was playing with, yeah, he pretty much just gave up. I, I don't know, it's not giving up, but he just knew he was going to lose, so. Uh, anyways, this is Knight of Tusk. Uh, he has visually 6 mana and 3 7, so a good defender to have. Uh, this guy was my best friend uh, during this sealed competition. Uh, Goblin Motivator. Uh, for one mana, you get a 1-1 one, one creature, and then you tap this, target creature gains haste until the end of the turn. So this was extremely helpful. Next up, you get a, a Human Knight for 4 mana, has Vigilance. Uh, when Gallant Calvary enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 White Knight creature with uh, token... Creature token with Vigilance. So, 2-2, two, two, not too bad. Um, you do create a token, which, I mean, if you get the pre if you get the core set, you'll probably most likely get it, because uh, tokens are pretty common nowadays. Anyways, uh, next up, we get an Elk for 2 mana, 2-1. Two, Whenever the, the Highland game dies, you gain 2 life. This actually helped me a little bit, because no one wanted to kill this, because they knew I would gain 2 life, so... You know, that's, you know, that was pretty good. Uh, Daggerback Basilisk? I don't know. For three mana, you get a Death Touch 2-2 two, two creature. Uh, this helped a lot as well, so I like this card. Uh, you get a five mana uh, Wolf for five, four, uh, four five. Um, uh, pretty good. I wish I had Flash, because there's another Wolf creature out there that has Flash. And, uh, you know, that's a little bit better. Anyways, next up we have... Uh, a giant warrior, siege breaker giant for uh, five mana. You get a six three trample creature, and then uh, you pay four mana, and you can get you can choose a target creature not to uh, not to be able to block. Uh, so that's yeah, pretty good. Uh, I like this creature. This creature helped me out a little bit too. It's a uh, three mana Pegasus, uh, one three flying. Now, when you hear that, it's not the best, but when you hear this, the second paragraph-ish, I guess, first paragraph, I don't know. Uh, whenever this Pegasus, Courser, I don't know, attacks, another target creature gains flying until the end of the turn. So, again, that's helped me a lot in, uh, in this tournament. Next up, Colossal Dreadmaw for uh, six mana. You get a 6-6 six, six Trample Dinosaur. Uh, I like that. My friend doesn't. Who cares? I like it. Um... Next up, we have a Havoc Devils. Uh, Devil with Trample, 4, 3, and you pay 5, uh, I mean 4 mana. And that's all my uh, cards in this deck. Not bad. Uh, I was, I kind of wish I chose black, because I got some pretty good black cards. Uh, but uh, I felt comfortable doing this. I should have gone with two colors. I guess I could have maybe cut out 
white. Nah, maybe red. Eh, actually, green was probably would have probably been a good card to cut out. Um, cause I mean that was okay. That was the best card from the green. I didn't put this down. I put this down once and scared the guy off. So <laughs> he killed me pretty quick, anyways. But yeah. Uh, so that's my deck. Deck definitely recommend these sleeves. They're pretty nice. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what colors you did in the if you did a uh, sealed tournament uh, this past week. Last weekend, uh, I'm not well two weekends ago because I'm not, I think this is gonna come out like Monday or Tuesday. So, uh, yeah. So make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff, and um, like, comment, you know, all that. And uh, I am posting every single day of July. Uh, Necker, Necker figures and Marvel Legends, and I'm not doing Black Series anymore because I don't have any to do. I have one coming in the mail though, so I might review that. And uh, yeah, so just make sure you do subscribe. Because I am doing a lot, uh, posting a lot of content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.